Uh, good evening. I'm, I'm Matt Cooper from Bangor University, and I'd like to share my novel method of collecting data in remote, remote environments. My project required me to collect precipitation through fall data in a remote forest in mid Wales, a site that's about two hours' drive away from home with no infrastructure, no services. Traditional rainfall monitoring requires constant attention and always has the fear that if a device fails for any reason, you can only find out on the next scheduled visit and important data can be lost. Seeing the data in real time and being alerted to any problems that would arise would allow me to be reactive in scheduling maintenance and troubleshooting visits. So could I find a way to observe the real data in real time and be alerted if a problem occurs with any of my gauges? In short, yes. The Internet of Things is a concept which allows small packets of data to be formatted and transmitted from sensors and recording devices to the web and then to wherever you want them to be. Here, because this is the network that we developed to collect and transmit our data. The rain gauges were connected to the Internet of Things by the means of a node. The little green square at the bottom left is the actual rain gauge bit, and the slightly fuzzy disk, because I'm rubbish at photography, is a 10p coin. The gateways that we developed are solar powered, completely off grid, and they work similar to a domestic router in that they just transmit a message. They use the mobile phone network to transmit that. So then using the Things network and a piece of software called Node Red, we can see the data in real time. This is a screen grab from my computer, and you can see that the, the top five graphs are actual rain, rain data from when it started raining. Node Red can also be connected to your mobile phone. This is, the tall picture is a grab from my phone, and the small picture on the right is a notification to tell me that one of my gauges hasn't worked for the last three hours so I can then decide whether I'm going to go down to the forest and have a look at it. So basically, this was a proof of concept because we were told that it couldn't be done. So yes, we have demonstrated that it can be done. It's been running for over a year and has an almost limitless range of potential applications because you can basically connect any sensor to that node and to provide any data. Thank you.